Gwa kede nange kubu kede TV nkubu za kontu wa suzote ya no. Ye balabu kese za. Nsoko okuyo za yo za. Baganda bafe aba kristayo. Mwe bale kutuka kubu wangu zi. Okufuna saba la vili zi. Ngayono ye Dr. Bishop Samuel Stephen Kazimba Mugalu. Ngono ye mula vili zi. Wabula vili zi we mtiana. Sebo tukuyo za yo za. Mwe bale kutuka kukula lino. Tuwe bazana haba deko. Orwe mili mujia kole deka nisa ya Uganda. Muyoge yoge nyoba nafe. Awe nzikiriza ye chikuli stayo. Mchisera chino tutusene programu ya fe ya ulire dobozi. Mwetu kutusu za koku saba. Oku wabade masinzi za genja ulo. Orwa lero. Tulikuchitebe chesa za liya kasana luwero. Elanga tugenda kutusu ako misa yokuzo na kulaba somesa. Omusumba we sazali no. Paulo semo ogerele. Irange genda kubela mulimi olungeleza. Okusinza kweta bie kone kamishona webie njigiriza kumutende ilogwa primary. Dr. Tone Mukasa Lusambu. Katutandike misa ya fe ne njiriri. <tune> Oh, no, no. 
compassion us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us call our Lord Jesus Christ to have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy on us. You are said to serve the sinners, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy on us. Lord of mercy on us. O God, who in the abasement of your Son, Raised up the fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for those you have rescued from slavery to sin, restore in eternal gladness. You are Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. From the book of God's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 11 to 17. Of course, any discipline is at the time a matter of grief, not joy. But later, in those who have undergone it, it bears fruit in peace and uprightness. So, steady. All weary hands and trembling knees and make your crooked paths straight. Then the injured limb will not be maimed. It will get better instead. Seek peace with all people and the holiness without which no one can ever see the Lord. Be careful that no one is deprived of the grace of God and that no root of bitterness should begin to grow and make trouble. This can poison a large number. And be careful that there is no immoral person or anyone worldly minded like Esau who sold his birthright for one single meal. As you know, when he wanted to obtain the blessing afterwards, he was rejected. And though he pleaded for it with tears, he could not find, he could find no way of reversing the decision. The word of the Lord.
address the brothers and disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the care of Moses. You must therefore do and observe what they tell you, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on people's shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention. <laughs> Like wearing broader headbands and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honor at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted respectively in the market squares, and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who raises himself up will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be raised up. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this place. Thanking God who called us to his ministry as speakers. And help us to do our work effectively. As you know, Jesus Christ is the teacher and the only teacher. There is nobody who should call himself a teacher. According to this gospel of Matthew that we have read. Nor must you allow, allow yourself to be called teachers. We have only one teacher, the Christ. So Jesus Christ has commanded us kindly, mercifully, allowed us to be called teachers. He is the only teacher, but we share that name because he has mercifully allowed us to be teachers. In this sacrifice of mass, we also offer them to God, to a kind God, to receive them in eternal life. We also thank God for the successes that we have achieved since the day we were here last. And I also thank you for looking after our schools and for the children. We reflect upon the word of God and the celebrate Eucharist together to share on the same table as children of God, one family. In this way, we gather more strength to continue on this noble duty that God shared with us. As you know, teaching is a vocation. Not anybody can become a teacher. It is a vocation that is given to us by God. We teach because we are called by God himself to do so. Jesus is the only teacher, as we have heard from the Gospel today. And as you know, parents are the first teachers of their children. So allow them to teach. They are the primary teachers of faith and morals. The primary teachers of faith and morals. Parents have the first responsibility for the education of their children. They bear witness to this responsibility first by creating a home where tenderness, forgiveness, respect, and fidelity and this interested service are the rule. This is according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 2,000. 
223. It's a responsibility of the mother and the father as parents to be the first teachers, first educators. That is why the church, Catholic Church, is insisting that the issue of sex education should begin with the parents, not in the school. It is the mother who knows how the child, the, the, the organs of the child on the body look like. More. The mother and father have the responsibility to clean them, touch them, and so on. The mother and father have the responsibility, the duty, the authority to look at the privacy of the child. So as the first teacher, primary teacher, that responsibility is theirs. So I know they want to load it on over you, but you should remind the parents that this is their first responsibility. And the parents should have the right to say, no, you shouldn't do this to my child. Let us try to be guided by the church on how to go about this sex education because we represent God in the teaching and giving out from, from, uh, and forming the entire human being. Tugenda kuhumulamu, wetu kwa mauto yonge yonu kusinza kwa fe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.